It's salty, man. Ah. Last day in Trinidad. And today is actually my first time being in this pool. <laughs> I've been in this country for the past 10 days. I never had a chance to enjoy myself, but I'm on my way to the airport and I was like, you know what? I cannot live in a five-star hotel without being in this pool. And guess what? It's too early because I wake up so early to rush to the airport. And um, because I woke up so early, I had the whole pool to myself, man. You get it? The entire pool, I got it to myself. Um, trust me, man, this is not what I expected this whole Caribbean trip to be and it's been the best thing that I've ever done. I'm not even done yet. This is actually my country number four, Trinidad and Tobago, the twin island. I mean, there's a lot coming. This is a vlog of heading to Barbados and I believe that I'm gonna upload this video before uh, the remaining videos because I, I currently, as it stands right now, we are still uploading videos from Suriname and um, I faced a lot of challenges when I started this. First of all, I was not allowed to fly to Jamaica directly. Secondly, my passport got stuck in Ghana for over 40 days. So I ended up staying in Suriname for over 40 days. I mean, there's so many things that were hindering this whole trip for me to keep moving. And I've been away from home since September. And I felt like if I don't go to Barbados before Jamaica, um, I won't be able to wrap up this trip. And wrapping up this trip, I wanted to go home before Christmas, but I cannot make it. I, I feel like I, I cannot make it. So uh, I asked my wife, it's okay for you. Can you come and join me in here? Because I believe that I'm, I can't go back home until I'm done with Barbados and Jamaica. So I'm on my way going back home. I convinced my wife, hey, can we just spend Christmas out of Ghana for the first time? So maybe you're gonna spend Christmas either in Jamaica or Barbados. I have no idea because trust me, this whole trip, I'm just going in with the flow because anytime I plan a trip, I feel and I don't wanna plan anymore. Let me tell you something, I'm living in a five-star hotel. I never paid a dollar for it. Since I came in here, the Trinidad Tourism Authority were like, you know what, you did an amazing job and we want to support your work. You won't believe that the Prime Minister of this country shared one of my videos. You won't believe that the people has been so receptive. Everybody just love what I might have been here. And as I was walking in the street of Port of Spain, guess who I met? Hi, I'm Whitney. Uh, Instagram is Owen Ishii with Star with Zero. And I watch his channel all the time. And I thank him for the work he's doing in Africa as well as all over the world for the African cultures. Of, um, of the of the universe. Oh. Oh. Well, project in Africa, you are you have great role model for the young boys. And you are not only you are short, but you are like this. Height doesn't matter. Height does not matter. You are doing a great job. Continue. Keep it up. We love you. It makes me feel like I cannot give up on what I do. I'm so sorry for talking too much, but. I'm just using this platform or using this media to just tell you all I appreciate the love and support and even though we've never met or even though we've never seen each other or even though you are in Trinidad and Tobago but I never got the chance to meet you, trust me, I appreciate you. It's just that timing is a big enemy for me. You know what? The blessing to be living in a places like this and I don't take it for granted. That's the view. That's my view this morning. I got the greens, the hills, and the ocean right in front of me. But this was my humble abode for the past few days that I spent in here. And that's how my room looks like. Messy all the time. But Amaya's room is always messy. So it's an executive suit. And this is how it looks like. And yeah, if you ever get a chance to visit Trinidad, make sure you stay at Hilton. And on behalf of the entire team, 
the Trinidad Tourism Authority partnering with Hilton to host us, I want to say thank you and I appreciate it. It's about time for us to head to the airport. Come along with me. Let's go. We just made it to the airport and um, it's so sad to say goodbye to Trinidad. There's one country that I really had most fun and I can't believe that the fun has ended. Um, but it's a journey and the journey must continue. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Let the Lord just bless you and let, let the Lord make sure you are, you are safe you have the energy to continue this thing for all of us. You are trying and we are behind you. That is Mr. Ty right there. He's actually our host since we came in here and he's been moving around with us from day one until we went to Tobago and returned. So Ty, on behalf of the entire team and the Wadamaya fans across the globe, we say thank you. But Mr. Ty has a YouTube channel and I want you all to go fly the YouTube channel by going to subscribe to his channel. Zatai, what's your channel's name? Oh, you tell your Raymond Ojoade. Yeah, the link is in the description. It's about time for us to go check in. I hope you are not late. Come along, let's go. So I came here with just one bag and everyone is giving me gifts. They said that I'm going with so many bags that I did not come with. And even this guy right here behind the camera is about to give me another gift to sophisticate my whole box. <laughs> nice to meet you again, man. Most welcome. I love your suit. Thank you. You're representing Trinidad. All the way. This is Barbados. I love the quality of the t-shirt. I guess this, this, is, this is what I'm wearing every day in Barbados. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like the one in the yeah, trailer, yeah, yeah. I was wearing it all the time, like every single day. Yeah. All right. Thank you so much, man. Yeah, no problem. Appreciate it. That's all good. Thank you. All right, it's time to head. It's time to say goodbye, eh? When I talk of uh, infrastructure development in Trinidad, I'm also talking about the fact that the country owns an airline. So, Caribbean airlines that connect the Caribbean countries also like uh, they fly to the US it's actually owned and operated by the people of Trinidad and Tobago I don't think all of that is so impressive sure so shy yeah. how can you be shy I don't know. nice to meet you again Same. you from here from Trinidad yeah. from Trinidad you also tr yeah. Like we're going yeah. to um, Barbados vacation on Saturday on Tuesday. So. Oh, yeah. happy birthday. Thank you. You want to sing for him? Uh, happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. <laughs> Crazy how I get recognized in town so many places that I go like I get shocked I, I'm still not used to the fact that I am based in Africa and I do my thing in Africa but if I tell you the number of people that I've met across my trip from Brazil, Suriname, Guyana, Trinidad that really adores me I just watch you on YouTube you watch you on YouTube? you're from Kenya Ghana Ghana but I'm still Kenyan yeah. Half Kenyan, half Ghanaian. Right, right, right. Rwanda. Man, it makes me feel like I cannot stop what I do, man, because there are people out there who really appreciate what I do. Let me know. Um, have you met me before or do you want to meet me? Where in the world are you, have you been watching me from? I really want to know because sometimes I get shocked when I meet people that really watch my videos. Like, I remember, like, I was in the middle of nowhere somewhere in... Um, a forest in Tobago and I met someone is like what am I I'm like how <laughs> wow see I'm in the middle of nowhere man <laughs> like in a, I don't know if I should say I'm in a jungle 
Yeah, yeah, in the jungle. Yeah, in the jungle. Man. Yeah, yeah. Man. Man. yeah, yeah. <laughs> but anyway, I'm super excited that uh, my wife is coming. It's been so long, three months. You should, I shouldn't be away for that long and um, whatever that was happening was beyond my control so I'm so glad she agreed to join me in the Caribbean as I continue my journey because I feel like this is a, a calling, it's a spiritual journey and nothing will stop me until I'm done. Trinidad, Barbados, and Jamaica. Let's go to the city. Let's see what the city got to offer, man. Touchdown. Wow. A bit Barbados. <laughs> it feels different and good to be here, man. I don't know how to express it, but I just want you to know that I made it. To meet you. Meet you. How are yeah. you? Great. How was your flight? Awesome. Beautiful. Yeah. Let me just wait for them. Beautiful. And then get ready to take your photo. Take this. As um, simple as that. From around your neck. Wow. Right. Uh, Look up at the camera. Oh, oh, I, I love Barbados already. <laughs> uh, this is the <laughs> fastest. Check they ask you where you're coming from, so oh, you can wow. go through. You're coming from Trinidad and Tobago. Yeah. Good. Put in your zip code, the length of time you're staying in Barbados. Yeah. I've been Dr. Phil. Dr. Phil told everybody that I'm coming to. <laughs> Almost everyone is here now. Hi. Welcome, man. Yeah, thank you, boss. How long have you been in Barbados? Oh, I've been here for four years. Yeah. Four years? Yeah. Wow, Ghanaians in Barbados. We have a lot of Ghanaians here. Some have been here for 40, 50 years. Jesus yeah. Christ. Yeah, yeah. Okay. <laughs> 40 <laughs> to 50 as years. Okay, all right. Yeah. Let's let's park. No let's get the things into the car. Talking about African issues. Yeah. And but we have exposed Africa to the world. And yeah. we, we appreciate what you are doing. Now, 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 now we are here to connect yes, the Caribbean yes. to Africa. Yes, yes, I think uh, it's a very good move. Aquaba. Hey, man. This hotel is definitely a ground water. I love the colors that I'm seeing. Whites everywhere. Trust me, I feel like I'm gonna have a great time in here. Hi. I'm good. Are you are you giving me that? Yeah. So that means towel called towel. I need to try it, experience, and tell me how to do like it. Okay. Specially made by us, Bellman. Cool towel. Yep. It's hot. Oh my goodness. Ah. Infused with what? It's infused with lavender, eucalyptus oil, and rosemary. Smells so good. But this happens when you come out of the sun, you know? Yeah. This one, I'm in the AC. Yep. <laughs> yep. Hey, hi, man. Well, How are you? The climate here is, is pretty hot, so yeah. even your travel here, you might, you know, but it's the experience. What's the name of the hotel? Welcome to Wendell Grand Barbados. It's a pleasure to have you here. Do enjoy your stay. Thank you. I'm enjoying it already, you know? <laughs> Whoa, look at that view. Some breathtaking views, man. Can't wait. But it's good that I am not coming here alone because my wife will be landing tonight. Okay, nice. So definitely gonna have a great time. Yeah, here. Enjoy it ocean sure. view, bro. <laughs> ocean view, man. Ocean view. <laughs> Woohoo! Where's the bed? Jeez. Oh my goodness, I love this. I love this. Look at that. Welcome. Here. And what is here? Special lower for you. Welcome to what? Is it what Wyndham, is it? Wyndham Grand Barbados. Barbados. We hope you have an you have you have an enjoyable stay. 
Oh my goodness, look at that. I bet you that's the Caribbean Sea, man. Because it's so blue, you barely see the Atlantic Ocean this blue. Ah. Oh. Barbados has started on a good note. This is crazy man first of all the craziest thing is that i've been working so hard that i got so exhausted uh, so as soon as i got here i've been sleeping for over 10 hours you know 10 hours man because I, I i i know that i was like you know what babe i'm just gonna wait for you i just put some music and then i passed out i had to call maya and uh yeah, he was sleeping, he was sleeping, and uh, at first he wasn't responding. Mm. The person who woke me up was her call. She called me around 11, 11 something, and I, I felt so bad the fact that she has been at the airport for that long and I couldn't make it to the airport. You know, because I made that arrangement and everything to pick her up, um, but because I was not waking up, <laughs> Nobody came to wake me up, you know, it's, uh, it's super crazy and then uh, the fact that the immigration also stressed her up, it's, 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 it's crazy man. So whenever you come into Barbados, you need to know this, if you planning to go to other Caribbean islands, you need to make sure you have the ticket that you leave Barbados and also the ticket that takes you to your country, which truly has it. But they want to see a ticket that takes you from um, Jam Jamaica to Miami, which shows that you're not going to stay in the Caribbean island. For me, I think it doesn't make sense because as a tourist, all you need is your onward ticket or your return ticket, of which we have the onward and she also has a return ticket. Whatever happens in Jamaica, I don't think it has to do with you because I mean, that's their rules, you know, and um, it happened to me when I landed because I have my return, I have the ticket that shows that I'm leaving Barbados on this particular day, but yet, they gave me a hard time, man, until I think uh, because we were being hosted by the government, they had to like come in for us and then that's how we ended up leaving um, the airport. So when Trudy was coming, I told her, you're going to face the same problem. She didn't, she didn't believe me and um, yeah, that's, 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 that's what happened. So when you're coming to... The, when you're coming to Barbados, this is one thing that you need to uh, be aware of. But I, I feel like um, if you really want more tourists, I, I don't know, maybe they don't see us as tourists or something. But if, you, if you're a tourist or if you want more tourists to visit your country, this is one thing that I think um, you need to, you know, make it smooth. But I, I believe that they're also doing that based on the past experience. Maybe people complaining and all of that. that they don't have money to go back that's how all these things are happening but at the end of the day the most important thing is she's on her way here and uh, that's what matters to me at the moment so i'm just gonna like um just wait here as she comes and then yeah go continue my sleep because i have a very busy morning okay babe so i'm leaving Like she doesn't want me to be in this Caribbean all by myself. Oh, thank you. Pardon, oh, sir. Hey, how many years? Three years. Thank you so much. It's good to see you again. Eddie, I'm your captain this afternoon. 
The rest of the crew is Milo, Seth, Ronaldo. It's directly in front of us. We're gonna swim with the turtles, snorkel us and shipwrecks, then we're gonna sail. dive in and swim and go look for touches but I'm so sorry I'm I feel good up here I mean I can swim up here so I'm good I'm super good yeah <laughs> I'm down there so that you can also do something <laughs> why don't you try they should take us to and I can't help but feeling just loving this moment can we say Walk up to the Caribbean. Forever. First time here? First time in Caribbean countries and my first one is Barbados and I'm loving it so far. With you everything is complete. Do you know how much I'm so excited to be joining my bae in Barbados? It's been so long. I've been missing him like crazy and now that you're together in Barbados you're having so much fun this yacht experience honestly I didn't see this coming I didn't expect it just woke me up in the morning and told me we are going somewhere and here we are having so much fun I love this place so much this experience is to die for you should totally come to Barbados and experience this with your loved one just love it. <laughs> That's, that's a Caribbean dance, man. As soon as you enter the Caribbean, as soon as, as, soon as you enter the Caribbean, that's where it meal and so tasty it's finger licking good and yeah nothing beats the feeling of being here with your bae so when you're coming to Barbados make sure you come with your bae and um, you all need to check out Mr. this YouTube channel the link is in the description subscribe and let's hit 400,000 subscribers my name is Ward Maya you want an only annoying village boy from Ghana this is more like a brick so enjoy the break we'll be back with one more video from barbados so we're we'll continuing our videos from serena i am maya have you subscribed to the channel yet subscribe and be part of this awesome family and i'll see you all in the next one <laughs> hey look at it look at that Is that wrong going down? Is that wrong going down?